Good morning, my lovely Gemini. It is your time to get your monthly reading. Remember, you can have Gemini wherever in your chart. You can be dealing with a Gemini, you can be a cross watcher. This is going to be a mix of information, love, career, spiritual, whatever wants to come true. Even true that this reading is for October, you can see this whenever it comes to you. If you see it in another month, you are supposed to. But I am going to go through some channel messages first, and then we're going to take the cards. You are all about connecting with people this month. You're going to be very social or you're going to feel very social. You want to socialize with people. You want to connect with new people. There might even be this like hungering for new people in your life. Venus moved into a sector of your chart about home on the 2nd of October really pushing you to organize your home, organize things around you. Obviously, this can also be you organizing your friend list or <laughs> your friends, maybe even who you are following on Instagram or Facebook. Or again, reconnecting with others, finding inspiration, new inspiration somewhere. And by cleaning out all the old stuff, you might actually find something that will either make you cry because you realize how far you have come or it will make you jump up of joy and excitement. Mercury goes retrograde on the 13th of October in a sector of your chart about daily routine and health. Whatever have brought you low self-esteem is something you might fight against now. Maybe that's why you suddenly feel more social again. You are going to win no matter what it is you put your money to, whatever you want to create. No matter if this is weight problems, drinking, stress, illness or whatever, you're going to win and overcome it. When it comes to work, you will reassess because of the retrograde. Like, you're going to realize, are you still into what you are doing? Do you still love the people that you loved before? Is it time for a change? The full moon on the 31st on Halloween makes you want to just get out and have fun. But again, restrictions. Follow the guidelines. Don't overdo things. But there is this swiftly new energy. We do like that. But let's see what we can get for you, Gemini. What is the energy for Gemini? What is the energy for Gemini? The ancient ones. Gifts received. Ah, maybe that's why you feel so full of life. Lovers. Ooh, what is happening? <laughs> I guess it pays off for you to be social. But let's talk about these cards first. I am going to take the book now this is a new deck. Your spiritual growth is now acknowledged and witnessed by the heavenly ones that see beyond time and space into reality of your soul. Again, makes sense with the gifts received. And actually also, like, I don't know, if this is like animals or what is this? Peacocks maybe? There is two souls here connecting. The energy is swifting out. And I do feel it has something to do with what you have achieved. Like a new level. Like you guys are on the same level. Or you are on the same level as your higher calling. Your life purpose. This oracle brings you guidance that you have taken a leap in personal growth. If you are still testing it in the physical world, try to translate your inner change into outer experiences. Take heed. It's only a matter of time before you see reflected back to you in your physical world. What you have become within and you will see it mirroring back to you in the eye of those around you in a sacred relationship too. Maybe some of you guys are being connected with, again, a very spiritual 
connection or twin flame. But again, if it's not a twin flame, it's a very spiritual soulmate connection. Relax, it's okay to accept what is coming your way now. Gently your soul, steady your heart. Even the most precious treasure can be received by you. Why not? Question mark. Are you not built of the same stuff as the treasure beloved? Question mark. Yeah. If this is about a person, which for a lot of you guys it might actually be, you deserve this. You are on the same frequency. Yes, it's love. It drives you forward and pulls you back to your heart. It makes the mind mad with misunderstandings and breaks it open into enlightened compassion. It is love. Hmm. It is love even though it drives you crazy. Your yearning heart shall have it. Your destiny is to be the lover of the beloved. Wow. Your destiny is to be the lover of the beloved. If that is not poetic, I don't know what is. I feel you guys should prepare for this. But with that, let's see what else we can get for you. That is major. Hmm. Yeah. That self-esteem is really going up now. Let's see what we can get for Gemini. Whoa! Oh my god! Hello! Passion! The Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands. There might be someone from the past coming back. You might... <laughs> well, and it might be some, someone that you are... You know, that you have to... Like... Think twice, like, do I want this? It might be someone who has a player attitude. That's might be why you are a little bit like, should I trust this person? Might be a fire sign. Might be a Cancer, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, or someone who has that in their chart. But let's see what else we can get for you. Whoa! I did see the lovers. <coughs> but there's also Leo energy here. Okay, that's how we're, let's take these cards now that they're here. I did hear someone say, don't be so stubborn. Hmm. Battling with insecurities. For some reason, there is this energy of someone trying to reach out to you or vice versa. I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but again, take what resonates, leave the rest, flip the rose. You can be Gemini, you can be dealing with Gemini. You can have it wherever in the chart. You can be male, you can be female. So obviously this can be you, but this can also be you. It can be another person, either way. You might be dealing with someone who's letting go or learning to let go of a Capricorn, a Leo. Aquarius, Pisces, but we have your own card here. But you're not standing strong in your secure, you know, in your um, self-esteem. Still, it's a little like, hmm, maybe just because there's someone is coming in with so much passion that it makes you a little bit like, okay, am I ready? Like, for some reason, you feel like you need to heal more, and you don't. You do need to be open and to be willing to learn. Or someone needs to be open and willing to learn here. Realizing that something is toxic. And again, it might be, you know, yeah, a player who's coming back. But it can also be a Leo that you are actually letting go, but there might be someone else who's better. So there might be two with the same energy which makes you you know confused because this the lovers can be about making decisions so there might actually be someone who is the bad person i do feel there might actually be two people someone who is the king and someone who is a knight so who who are you going to choose here but if you want to pro progress in or on your spiritual journey. You do need to be open 
to learn something here. And I do see there is reconciliation. But I do also feel that there is someone who is not good. Because with the tower is reversed, it's breaking. It's actually, it, it fits well if you, we see it like this. Like underneath the Knight of Wands, we have the tower reversed and the two of... The two. <laughs> well, two. Yes. The High Priestess. So again, making a decision. Or not making a decision. Seeing the illusion of someone. But when it comes to someone else, are you, you know, building up your self-esteem, you still need a little bit more healing. Obviously, this can also be releasing of addictions, because there is a major shift happening for you here. It's good luck and success coming your way. It's you achieving something. Again, it doesn't have to be anything to be do with love. But there is a lot of insecurities. It might be because of weight problems. It might be because of past emotions. That you might have someone who wants to communicate with you. Someone who really wants to get your attention. But for some reason you are a little shy when it comes to it. You might be in a crossroad and then suddenly this person comes in. Because there is this energetic energy. Obviously this can also be you. But there is someone who is very confident. You are moving swiftly along. It's actually pretty amazing. But don't let insecurities hold you back. But you have a choice to make between two people or just moving forward. Not letting self-doubt get in the way. Let go of whatever is holding you back. I will give you the last card, so let's see what else we can get for Gemini. Listen to the intuition. Take a chance on love. Wow. <laughs> well, I do feel for some of you guys this is about love. Take a chance, take a chance. See through the illusions because something might, you know, there might be two people and you're not, you might need to make a decision here. When we love our lives, are changing forever. Well, yeah. Well, congratulations, Gemini. This is um, pretty bad as love coming your way. But again, there is two people, so you might need to change. Oh, <laughs> might need to change. Well, you might need to change focus. But let me know if this resonated. I really hope that you guys could use this. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session, or removal of blocks, all information is down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!